Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's scripture with the Yabajim. And today's scripture is Romans chapter 8, verses 5 through 11, and it reads as follows. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Ruach, the things of the Ruach. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against Yah, for it is not subject to the Torah of Yahuwah, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please Yah. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the Ruach. If so be that the Ruach, Yahuwah, dwell in you. Now if any man have not the Ruach Hamashiach, he is not his and if Hamashiach be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the Ruach is life because of righteousness. But if the Ruach of him that raised up Yahusha from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Hamashiach from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his Ruach that dwells in you. As you go throughout this day, going through your daily task, remember these words. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against Yah, for it is not subject to the Torah of Yahuwah, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please Yah. Move away from having a carnal mind or a carnal mindset. It leads to death. Renew your mind with the word. Get into the scriptures today. Get into living a life that is spirit filled, filled with the Ruach HaKadosh. Having a carnal mind is against Yah. You cannot please the Most High Yah living and walking and pleasing your flesh all the time. So renew your minds today, everybody. Get into the word, read it, study it, meditate on it, focus on it um, and live it out today. Execute the word today. Obey it. Renew your minds. Move away from the worldly mindset. As you go throughout your day, praise the Most High Yah. Worship Him. Talk to Him. Seek Him out today. Keep Him first in every area of your life. Give Him the highest esteem today. And with that, I will leave you with Shalom.